Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. I am a product of things. And my encounter with Jesus Christ didn't even jump the steps of honoring these systems it's amazing that even if you meet jesus he will still refer you to the systems that he put upon the earth my greatly revered mentor my heart bleeds the man who taught me on the kingdom late dr miles munro i love him and i honor him in life and in death I was in worry for a conference the morning he died suddenly my chest started paining me it was a rare occurrence I said what is going on because you see there is a level of genuine connection that deep calls on to deep mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are falling here tonight yeah. the kings to be born for revival to return for the kings to arise for revival to return yeah. Ali Ali O oh, Ali O oh, Ali Ali O oh, 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 Ali Ali O oh, 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 oh. Elijah's arising here tonight The Boras Arising here tonight, hey. for the ties arising here tonight, for the kings to be born, for revival to return, for the kings to arise, for revival to return. Hey. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali Ali oh 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 Ali Ali oh 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 Listen Brothers and sisters I came here tonight By the spirit of the living God As a prophetic breach Every house Is built by some man Although God is the builder, no man anoints himself. No man ordains himself. It's against the law of growth. And without all contradiction, the less. It's a he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. You can receive a prophet in the name of your tribesman, the name of your brother, the name of a man of God. Please listen to me. Listen. I stood in a vision of the Lord and I saw a generation, an entire generation. And they began to weep and cry and then I stood in front there and I said why the tears and the generation was shouting and they said there is no food and no water and I said am I the cause and they said you are the cause that this whole generation is in hunger because of you 
I look back, I said, how can a generation blame me? One man for a generation. And then I told them, I said, I'm coming. I must come. Listen, but I was afraid. Please listen, just bring those under the anointing. Help. Be careful so that. Please listen and be sensitive. Mike, I hope you are working with these guys, please. Listen. And then I was afraid because I wanted to leave that room to go and help them. Please listen. But there were certain people who were bullying me in that vision. The fear of them made me to be afraid. But later on, I said, this generation is crying too much. I said, let me go out. I took a step of faith in that vision. I said, if I perish, I perish. As soon as I opened the door, listen. Ah, there is a grace. The spirit. Listen. Let's tie this up. There will be a convocation of the spirit in this place. Now listen please. Listen. Listen. Please listen. As soon as I stepped out, I saw an old man, a giant old man. He held my hands and said, let's go for that generation. Please hear me. My brothers and my sisters, there are certain men that have no ambition on themselves. I was not called to a church. If I had my way, I would never be doing what I'm doing. This is a mandate of a generation. When God called me, he saw you. And tonight, whether you are a pastor, apostle, prophet, if your heart can be open, my brothers and my sisters, you will receive something that is for a generation. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship. Bring them out, please. Yeah. Highest praise to the Lord. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the Lord. We bow down, we bow down, the deepest worship to the Lord. We give, we give you the highest, highest praise to the King. We give you the loudest, we lift up holy hands. We lift up holy hands. Taking all the sorrow, you are taking all the pain. You are taking all the sorrow, you are taking all the pain. You are making them yours. We give you worship, worship, highest praise to the Lord. Please open your mouth in one minute and begin to cry. Let it be a cry of the spirit. Man of God, pray. Shalakata Paris Kabada. M Praktas Katabalekes Kobahasha. Nakatakatakate Rakos. Epratoske Bero Zeneketaliada. Kogiste pray. There is a convocation. Fire 
ya 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 It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Ta da da. Ta da da. Ta da da. Hey. Yeah. Sarkin Salama 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 Hallelujah. Please listen. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. Please listen. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Our time is gone, and we may not be able to do. I thought we may have time to pray for the sick but may not, not be time but I want you to receive something listen you don't have to be a man of God no now please hear me those up the balcony please shift away from the main base there so that you don't fall and enjoy yourself that's number one those outside please be careful so you don't enjoy yourself number three whether you are an usher or not please for the sake of management anyone who is under the anointing close to you please and please be your brother's keeper i want to pray the spirit of the lord is upon me I'm seeing a fire in the realm of the spirit. Listen. This is a grace for the prophetic. And as I pray, there are many people who will step into these graces. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors.
doors will you open up the gate now I stretch my hands at the count of three may this mantle for the prophetic I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three one two three take that grace now take that mantle now take that grace I shift you in the spirit step into that grace the eyes that see the ears that hear kaparakatos kabarianda lift your hands I'm praying for you the Lord is showing me a grace for the healing ministry there are certain people here you have seen it in your visions right now I stretch my hands wherever you are receive that anointing right now I activate that mantle like the Azusa Street Revival. Let there be a restoration. Mommy, there is an anointing on this woman now. I stretch my hands right now. There is a grace that is on this woman, shifting her to a dimension in the spirit. Two of you hold your hands. Two of you hold your hands. Take that anointing now. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, who is seated on the throne. Please lift your hands. Now listen, I'm looking in this congregation and I'm seeing all kinds of chains. Let me tell you this, except God is not God. If you came here with any challenge, watch it leave you now. By the God, listen, by the God of Jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wings, I stand with the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare, that at the count of three as you shout Jesus every force sitting on your destiny that will not let you go territorial powers the manipulations and installations of darkness you must leave are you ready now at the count of three shout Jesus one two three go now I command those powers go now out of them out of their lives out of their destinies out of their lives now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty You must be released now. I release your family. 
I release your destiny. Even the lawful captives, I declare, be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Please pay attention. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is asking me to release speed upon your life. Please listen. Please listen. Listen. Especially for those outside, listen to me. When I pray this prayer, people will start running under the anointing. Please hold them. That's why I'm telling you this. There is a grace for speed. I want to pray for you. You are standing for your family. Some of you are lecturers. Some of you, you have, you have been in the same position almost forever. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, that grace will fall on you for your family inside outside i stretch my hands right now receive speed receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace you will run like elijah receive that grace hallelujah Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the number 15. And the Lord is saying, I'm restoring you to the realm of visions. 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 I'm restoring you to the realm of visions. visions. I want to release the grace for prayer and intercession listen 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 prayer is not something you do mechanically you will be tired there is a grace that quickens a man there is a grace that gives you stamina in the spirit and in jesus name i lay my hands on my own head by the grace of the god who has helped me i don't know what has happened to your altar but right now, let it catch fire. Fire. Prayer fire. I bring prayer fire to your campus. I bring prayer fire to chaos you. I bring prayer fire to conquiste a new dimension of the grace to travel. hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah how many of you are into the worship ministry where is this gentleman that sang theophilus come i want to do something very prophetic come there is a grace on this young man you are seeing that is not just come stand up come not only will you enter this grace yourself my friend god will use you i don't know you but look at me my name is joshua selman and there is a grace that you are stepping into you have seen the hand of god but the lord is asking me if you will to shift you to a level your songs listen mark it let me tell you this gentleman his songs will be the songs of revival of nations it's not because he sang i don't know him it's what the spirit of god is telling me he may not look like it but young man let me tell you you may be like a despised tone but there is a grace that is upon you that you will sing the songs of miriam and the angel of his presence will carry those songs to nations and in the name of jesus I lay my hands on you by the spirit of the living God from today let the grace of psalmistry let the grace that will shift you 
I declare songs in the night and songs in the day. I quicken your spiritual illumination in greater dimensions. In the name of Jesus. Now, please stand up. I want to use you. The young man is weeping. Watch this. I'm holding this guy as a prophetic signpost. I want to release a grace for the psalmistry for this generation. Father, I hold the hands of this gentleman as one that you have granted access to the grace for the Davidic order of worship right now. The worshipers, the Miriams and the Davids receive the grace for psalmistry now. Receive the grace. Write the songs of the Spirit. Climb the ladders of worship. The Lord is taking you to African nations. Go and write it. This is the next level of your ministry. The Lord is taking you to African nations. I'm seeing you in Ghana, South Africa, Zambia. The Lord is taking you to these nations. You will sing the songs of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not only Him, I'm praying. There are people who have been kept in the same position by prophecy rise to a new level rise to a new level hallelujah listen i pray for anyone in ministry here there are great servants of god in this nation there are great servants in this place Men of God, I regard and I honor every one of you. My ministering is not in any way to show superiority. It is by the privilege of God's election of grace. But I stand in agreement with every servant of God here. Let the mantle for the revival of this generation, let it fall on you now. Let it fall on your ministry now signs and wonders I declare an activation of ancient spiritual wealth KS you hear me I stand by the privilege of God's grace and I declare that from today may your campus become a spiritual portal We open up the vistas of the spirit allocated to this campus and we declare that never will there be a time when God will lack men on this campus. I pray for every fellowship regardless of denomination I pray for you be strengthened by the hands of the spirit. I don't know what your family members are going through that you left to come here but please let me agree with you that in the name of Jesus and if God be God may the angel of the Lord's presence go to your homes and correct every pattern correct every pattern that can see scripture the grace for illumination access to the mysteries of the spirit I pray for you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now
I pray for every final year student here. Let's graduate you right here. In the name of Jesus, whatever challenge you have that is threatening your graduation, I bring you the power of prophecy. And in the name of Jesus, let the hand of Zerubbabel that started 100 level, may that same hand graduate in the name of Jesus. Every lecturer here, I declare who is due for promotion or there are certain benefits by the God of heaven. May you step into your next level. I banish every doctrine of error from your campus forever every operation of cultism and witchcraft i define their spiritual borders and i drive them out of your campus I don't know what door has refused to open. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bands of iron in sunder. I declare over every closed door, over your life and destiny, let it be open now. Let it be open now. Let it be open now. Please hear me. If there is anyone here marked for death or your family members that they will see an obituary and say survive by. Death, I command you, leave everyone and every family here. Listen. I don't know what left your life relationships money opportunity the same way Samuel caused the donkey to return back I call everything that has left you hear the word of the Lord return back now return back now Can I pray for your spiritual life? Listen, many believers are religious but are not truly passionate about God. One leg in, one leg out. Today here, tomorrow there. There is a grace for stability. Listen, the Bible says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal. It says, seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us, and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. I pray by the supply of God's grace, every habit here eating you up, everything. That, that is a threat to your Christian experience. Be free from it now. 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 Masturbation, pornography, immorality, all kinds of things. Be free from it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let the fire of evangelism, like an Olympic light, let it stand upon the spiritual gate of your campus. 
May your campus become a place not just of learning but of salvation. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You have honored me and you have received the grace that God has so graciously given. I pray for you. Any man that fights you goes down immediately. Any man that fights you goes down immediately. Hallelujah. I want to make our time is gone but give me five minutes I want to make an altar call please if you can just ship them back now listen very carefully please altar calls are trivialized by many 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 individuals because for us it looks like it is cheap it is not charismatic there are people Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.